Trade talk between the Cardinals and Marlins gained momentum Wednesday, when the two teams discussed trade concepts at the general manager's meetings in Orlando, according to Fox Sports. Stanton hit a career-high 59 home runs with 132 RBIs last season, and he is among the favorites to win National League MVP Thursday. The Marlins introduced new owners this year, with cutting payroll high on their list. Stanton still has 10 years, $295 million left on his contract. He can opt out after 2020, but teams could be on the hook for a hefty long-term commitment should they meet Miami's asking price. New Marlins owner Derek Jeter is open to keeping Stanton, but he also acknowledged the financial issues presented with Stanton's contract. There are some financial things we have to get in order, Jeter told reporters Wednesday, via ESPN.com. That's the bottom line. It's an organization that's been losing money for quite some time, so we have to turn that around. How we do that is not clear. It's easy to point the finger at Stanton because he makes the most money, but that doesn't necessarily mean that's the move that's going to be made. I understand the assumptions. I do. But we have not come out publicly and said we are trading any particular player. I've been a player. You don't like to see your name constantly in the rumors that are going back and forth with every organization. You can drive yourself crazy. So we have not come out and pointed the finger specifically at any one player. Even if the Marlins decide to trade Stanton and find a team willing to take on his contract, they still face the problem of Stanton's full no-trade clause. The slugger has the ability to block a trade if he doesn't like the situation. The Cardinals and Giants have most frequently been associated with a move for Stanton during the early part of the offseason. Both teams are trying to reclaim their position as postseason contenders after missing out on the playoffs this year.